This is Stinky Tofu Pop Geo Q&A. How did we create the first two albums? That is Thought Bubble and Brainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> so our first album is called Thought Bubble. Uh, we recorded it all live on a handheld recorder that my uncle David sent me. We had been practicing inside of the rehearsal spaces. And eventually we decided we have enough material that we did record some of these. Right, so we each only had one input. So I was doing my vocals, beatboxing, rhythm guitar, lead guitar, all into the left channel. And I would I use the right channel for the bass and the drums and the synthesizers and the other lead instruments as well. And then we uh, got Sam Spiders to make the album cover art. We just gave him the idea of what would Stinky Tofu be thinking about? <laughs> yeah, so it's the, the fried tofu and then the bubble coming out of that. So incredible artist. Uh, also, Andy Lunt. Director Ando San made a music video for Furious Curiosity. Yeah, that's awesome. You can go check that out on our YouTube channel. And there's also some photos on another video that we posted ourselves, 57 Degrees, and that was taken in China. And those photos, a lot of those photos, Audrey Chung. Yeah, yeah, great photographer. And then we also have another video of the photos from Roz Lemmer. Roz and Lemmer. So we've had a lot of collaborators and people helping us out along the way. Yeah, definitely didn't do this all ourselves. And let's get on to Brainstorm, yeah? Yeah, so our first album is Thought Bubble, second album, Brainstorm. I think the maybe the most interesting thing, the geeky thing we could talk about is how I convinced this guy to start using digital processing. And then we could loop together, because on our yeah. first album only one of us could loop and the other person had to play everything live. Right. Which, which is great for the feel. I think it's pretty fun to have that live element the whole time. But we wanted uh, more flexibility with the arrangement. We wanted to be able to do more creative things. We really struggled trying to get that live set up to really work for us. Technical problems! Technical problems! Yeah, and it was it was a journey to try to get <laughs> it was a lot of work, actually working. And, and honestly, it still is. I wouldn't say masters at that process. <laughs> but we tested a few different things. Main stage being one, Mobius being one, and we tried Ableton too. Mm -hmm. So, now we just, just strictly sit inside of a studio and, you know, all down everything. everything. Yeah, so it's a, a lot less headache, but we don't get the interaction. So, yeah, we don't get, we don't ever play live shows anymore. This is how we communicate with you. Hi, world! <laughs> For Brainstorm, we created the album in the studio, mostly based around these little improvisational sessions. And we did play all of those songs live. Yeah, correct. And then use them looping. After we finished all the tracking, we sent it off to Claudio Ramirez in, in Austin, Texas, and he mixed it for us. And then uh, we released it to the world. And Sam Spires did the uh, album cover for that too. And my friend Eddie Stu, he recorded some flute for us on one of the tracks. So go listen to it on Spotify. That's Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Bandcamp, YouTube. Hi. Plus we're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> and StinkyStinkyTofu.com. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky Tofu, new album, Pop Geo, coming at you soon. Right, don't forget to go 